So open intelligence right here, right now. We're simply given an instruction to stop thinking, which is an invitation for you all right now to just stop thinking for a moment. And what do we acknowledge? What do we see when we stop thinking? What do we sense when we stop thinking? A sense of alertness and this stability, this presence that is always present, alive, prepared, ready for action, ready to perceive the next thought. When we stop thinking, we tap into this intelligence that is always available. And in balanced view, we simply call that intelligence open intelligence. Why? Because it's open, vast and free, not limited. Not limited by any description not limited by any thought, emotion, or sensation that we experience. And in balanced view, we simply call all thoughts, emotions, and sensations data. Or data. <laughs> I've just come from Australia, so we're still hanging in data mode. So data, data, thoughts, emotions, sensations. This morning, I've been feeling a lot of things. India has hit. I love being here and being here, and I have been here for some time, but I've just had a wave of sensations arising in the body. I've had wild outlandish thoughts. These are data streams that are appearing abiding a short while and resolving naturally, leaving no trace. We allow our data streams to be as they are because we've been introduced to open intelligence. And we see open intelligence is unlimited by anything that appears within it because all data streams are inseparable from open intelligence. Like the sky and the color blue like heat and fire or wetness and water. They are inseparable. So we now rely on this comprehensive intelligence that is at the basis of all our data streams, this open intelligence that is open, vast and free, that is undistracted and unperturbed by any thought, emotion or sensation. So for me, feeling everything that I felt in the body and feeling right now and all the thoughts and all the emotions and everything that can come up in our day-to-day -day life, we simply see now that we have a choice. Do we use our intelligence to try and change, avoid, indulge the data stream? Is that how we want to use our intelligence? Micromanaging our data streams playing with our data streams. It's quite energy consuming, energy zapping, zapping. It takes it out of us. It took it out of me. It took it out of me for 27 years. And yet I didn't know that open intelligence was at the basis of all my experience, of all my data streams. So I was just giving weight and meaning to everything that would arise for me whether it was positive, negative, or neutral. But here we're simply empowered to recognize what is at the basis of all descriptions, of all phenomena. This intelligence that is just vast and free, available to use for beneficial action, for beneficial speech, to be of benefit to ourselves and other people because it's not about meddling with our data streams anymore. We just simply allow them to flow on by like the flight path of a bird in the sky. And we see that it just vanishes naturally, leaving no trace. 
and all that's left is this intelligence ready to perceive the next thought. And then again, when the next thought comes, we just allow that to be as it is and see that no data can tarnish open intelligence. The reoccurring data stream that we've had our whole life, the deeply ingrained ones too, the ones we really want to get rid of, the ones we really want to keep, all just one simple dynamic flow. Nothing to get lost in, nothing to meddle around with. We just simply allow ourselves to be as we are. I've never allowed myself to be as I am. Who would do such a thing? <laughs> to allow negativity to be as it is, to allow complete affliction, feeling unworthy and not good enough, sarcastic, angry, frustrated, aggressive, these are all things that I thought I needed to do something about because they were negative. And simply here, what we're training up is to allow everything to be as it is, to not change anything about ourselves, to recognize that we are perfect as we are, simply as being open intelligence, relying on that about us, that unchanging, comfortable, cool and relaxed. And this is you. And you don't have to believe that, but you can test it out. You can test out the practice of short moments. It's the simple practice in balanced view that is just generously given. The practice to take short moments of open intelligence and repeat that many times. Moment to moment, we commit to these short moments and see very naturally that no matter what is arising for us, we have a tool that just allows us to be as we are. If that's angry, frustrated, if that's elated and blissful and happy, we just allow ourselves to be as we are and see we actually aren't limited by any positive description or any negative description or any neutral description. We are just as we are. And in Balanced View, we're just empowered to recognize that we are open intelligence moment to moment. Short moments is a tool that's available for us, whether we're new to the training. I've been involved now for five years and it's a practice I take everywhere where I go, especially the intimate relationship. Because that relationship is the one that often brings up the most data streams for me. Wanting something to change, wanting to be spoken to in a certain way, wanting this to look that way, this to look the other way. I mean, there's just so many unrelenting expectations that I have. But these are my expectations. These are my data streams. It's not about my partner needing to change. It's just about getting comfortable with the grooviness of open intelligence. <laughs> that offers all different descriptions, wild positive, wild negative. Everything's welcomed because we're allowing ourselves to be as we are. We're, res we're taking responsibility for our commitment to take short moments and rely on open intelligence, not be governed by our thoughts, emotions and sensations. And when we're not governed by our thoughts, emotions and sensations, we naturally want to be of great benefit in a very uncontrived and natural way. We don't have to try to be of benefit. We don't even have to think about being of benefit. It just naturally becomes our disposition when we rely on open intelligence. And you've got to test it out to see if that's the truth or not. Because it's not about believing anything that's being said. It's about testing it out and seeing very directly in all intimate relationships, in the relationship with ourselves, how we can actually take responsibility for our data streams we can rely on that comprehensive intelligence that knows what to do and how to act. So in my intimate relationship, I'm, I used to be so sarcastic and it can still come up sarcasm, but I'm learning to prioritize open intelligence. I know how to make amends. I know how to make direct changes. I use the support of a trainer, which is so essential in getting to know ourselves as open intelligence. A trainer is one of the four mainstays. The empowerment network that's offered in Balanced View. 
a trainer has just gone through the pitfalls maybe, or has just paved the way for us to see ourselves as open intelligence by testing it out for themselves. Someone who has just gone before us. I was grateful that my trainer was in an intimate relationship, is an intimate in, in an intimate relationship, and just empowered me to again take responsibility for myself and see that nothing has to change. Or that if something does has to, have to change, there are skillful ways to share. There are beneficial ways to speak. Not through sarcasm. I know that didn't work. It never worked. And it just belittled my partner and also belittled myself. It disempowered myself by speaking in disrespectful ways. But taking everything to the trainer just shines a bright light on our data streams. And when we get to see that, it can be outshone through the practice of short moments. The key ingredient to all data streams, short moments. So short moments is one of the mainstays. The trainer is another mainstay. And so we have trainings like this, open meetings, clarity calls, where we're just getting to know open intelligence through hearing people's direct experience. We have media online, we have texts to read. There's always something going on in our lives. But every moment is a great moment to take responsibility for our data streams and rest deeply as the power of all data, inseparable from open intelligence all data being the lively, beneficial potency of open intelligence. And these songs directly evoke this. So that's part of the media that's being offered here in Balanced View. Massive Vibe Live. And the fourth mainstay is the community. And thank you all so much for being here and setting up this magnificent centre. I've been here since the beginning and each year it just gets more incredible more beautiful, striking. And everyone that's just been involved setting this up, thank you so much for taking the time to be here and serve in this way. And it's such a beautiful offering now that we give to Arambol, to India and to the world. And everyone's welcome. This is a permission field for all of humanity. And as a community, that's what we demonstrate when we go out. We're training up here not to just test it here, but to go out into our day-to-day -day life and live as this open intelligence, bright, vast and free, and showing humanity what is possible for them. It's such a great time to be alive, super afflictive as well, but all is well. And the four mainstays, this vehicle of great benefit is inexhaustible and totally alive and present in each one of us. And I just know I will continue showing up. And I see so many showing up year to year, and I'm so grateful for you all. Thank you for inspiring me with your grooviness. <laughs>